In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to create blend shapes in ZBrush or any other sculpting software, and then bring these blend shapes back into Maya and connect them with Mocap X. First, let's open ZBrush with a sculpt of a basic head. We need to create blend shapes, so let's go to Z Plugins, and under Maya Blend Shapes, click Create New. Now if we go to the Layers tab, we can see a new layer. Let's rename it to iBlink underscore L. Now we will shape the geometry. So let's select the Move Brush and shape the pose. Once we're finished, we can see the blend shape by moving the slider. Let's continue and create a blink for the right eye. Go to the Blend Shape tab and Create New. Now we can see another layer. Now let's do the same thing for the right eye. If you go to mocapx.com, under documentation you can find a list of all poses that need to be done for the best result. To speed up the tutorial, we're going to open a ZBrush file where we already created all the blend shapes. You can see the result by setting the value to 1. If we're done with it, go to the Z plugin menu, Maya Blend Shapes, and press Export Blend Shapes. Now Maya is open and in the outliner we can find the head with already connected blend shapes. If we select the head's geometry and go to the channel box, under blend shape there is a list of them. You can also create blend shapes in Maya or import them from any other 3D application like 3ds Max, Blender or others. Now we are ready to connect mocap X data to the blend shapes. First we need to create a real time device. If we go to the attribute editor we can choose either Wi-Fi or USB. If you have the Mocap X app on your phone or iPad Pro running, just click on Connect and Maya will connect the app. Now we need to open the Connection Editor. On the left side we're going to load the real-time device, and on the right side we're going to select and load our blend shape. Now we simply connect one by one, by name. You can speed things up with our script that we included in the description below. Now we are live streaming data to our character. Let's add the head movement. So select the geometry, and load it on the right side. Now we will connect translate and rotate from the real-time device to our head. So we've added the translate and rotate. The last step is to add the eye movement. Let's select the left eye. Load it on the right side and connect the rotation from real-time. Now let's do the same for the right eye. Now let's record some data for the clip. Go to the real-time device, select a 15 second clip, and hit record. By doing this, we've recorded the last 15 seconds onto our clip. Now let's preview the clip. So we will select a mocap node, create a clip reader, and load that clip. If we go to the time slider, we can now scrub and see our clip. If we switch to real-time again, we're still streaming from the iPhone. If we go back to the clip reader and select the head, we can use our baking tool to bake data from the clip to an FBX file. Now we can export this animation as an FBX to Unity or render in Maya. Thank you for watching.